friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Hello students. Let us start with this interesting chapter on lines and angles. Firstly, we will revise basic terms and definitions. Then we will discuss intersecting, non-intersecting and parallel lines. We shall then give proofs of angles and property of triangles. Let us first revise the terms and definitions related to lines and angles that we have learnt in earlier classes. We have learnt that a minimum of two points are required to draw a line and a line doesn't have end points. And line AB is denoted by Next is a ray which is a part of a line with one end point and it is denoted by this. Recall that part of a line with two end points is called a line segment and it is denoted by but we will not use these symbols of representing a line, a ray and a line segment. Instead we will write line AB or ray OA or simply line segment CD. Also, sometimes we will use small letters like L or M or N etc. to denote lines. Consider the points A, B and C. Clearly, these points do not lie on the same line. In other words, if we join them, they don't form a line. So they are non-collinear points. Now consider points E, F, G, H, I. If we join them, they will lie on a line. So they are called collinear points. So we can say that if three or more points lie on the same line, they are called collinear points. Otherwise, they are non-collinear points. We know that an angle is formed when two rays originate from the same endpoint. The rays which make this angle are called the arms of the angle. So, ray OA is one arm of the angle and OB is the other arm of the angle. And the end point is called the vertex of the angle. We have already studied that acute angles are the angles which are less than 90 degrees. If the angle is exactly 90 degrees, then it is called a right angle. If the angle is greater than 90 degrees, but less than 180 degrees, it is called obtuse angle. If the angle forms is exactly equal to 180 degrees, it is called a straight angle. And if the angle formed is greater than 180 but less than 360 degrees, it is called 
और रिफ्लेक्ट एंगल टू एंगल्स हु सम इज 90 डिग्रीज आर कॉल्ड कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री एंगल्स टू एंगल्स हु सम इज 90 डिग्रीज आर कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री एंगल्स टू एंगल्स हु सम इज 180 डिग्रीज आर कॉल्ड सप्लीमेंट्री एंगल्स सो टू एंगल्स हु सम इज 180 डिग्रीज आर सप्लीमेंट्री मींस दैट एंगल एक्स एंड एंगल वाई आर सप्लीमेंट्री एंगल्स we say that two angles say x and y are adjacent if they have a common vertex and a common arm and their non common arms are on the different sides of the common arm ac is the common arm and the non common arm ab and ad are on the different sides of ac so x and y are adjacent angles we can also name them as angle bac and angle cad moreover when two angles are adjacent then their sum x plus y is always equal to the angle formed by the two non common arms that means ab and ad so that means angle bad is equal to angle x plus angle y if the non common arms ab and ad form a line then then the angles bac and cad form a linear pair in other word angle x and angle y will be called linear pair of angles let us also recall vertically opposite angles when two lines ab and cd intersect each other at a point o there are two pair of vertically opposite angles one of the pair is angle x and angle y and the other pair is angle z and angle t